Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow. <laughs> what a weird pause there. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing uh, Advent 2021. It is Gaiden 2. And today, I mean, yeah, we got this lovely picture of Pilly here in absolute silence. But first, whoa, it's an ambush. That's right. The lovely penguin, always on brand. Always. Always, always, oh, via, uh, uh Red Mage. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Uh, you can do that? I guess so. Well, hey, I got, I got the branding penguin face right here. Penguin heist. Uh, it's the greatest penguin heist of all time, or so I heard. Physics-based co-op heist game, huh? I mean... That is a fun uh, accumulation of terms for your game. Uh, challenging heist conducted by Penguin. Penguin's history. Now, I don't know how much that includes, but I'm sure that is pretty extreme. Thank you! I got this, like, at midnight last night. I was still up for whatever reason. I know the reason. And then, uh, that just kind of popped up. I was like, oh! And I was like, yeah. That makes sense. I feel like it's been a bit since I heard from Penguin. I hope you're doing okay. There's only so much I can glean from your face. Uh, downtown Fever! From Kunyu Kun, huh? Alright, that's what they say. We're gonna pop down to 14 today, right by Sturg's hand. Right here. White Castle, like experience combo. Words are kind of shoveling up together. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it's a jewel level. But yeah, we got a Fuller by Fario. I guess we just got a lovely penguin boost. That was timed and planned. Alright. White Castle. White. It's like White Cat. We're gonna eat the burger, but only something that is similar to it. Looks like S.A. Jewer is the person you go and get when you need a level done. That background noise, though. Alright, yeah, that's right. Rooftop money. Oh, that thing has to speak. Here we go. What do you want to say here? Oh, the music is weird. Um, alright. It's just such a slow process. It's a bit too realistic. Alright! Sweet! Coal Town! This is when I was on a Super Mario World soundtrack. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, Frosty Johns. Yeah, this is very similar to, uh, like you did a memo like that in the city last year, right? This is like the sequel. All right, Charlie. I don't know if I can enter, like, both of these not? Okay, one lock for both doors, that's fine. Taxi stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, there's a trash lord. That's right, I don't have a conventional spin jump. But there's money on a roof, and this guy is shuffling all up. All right, here we go. People, it happens. Bunnies, too. Soda! Oh, you're so dirty, little banana snake. Why is that? Whoa, that beep sound. Yeah, like that city soundscape in the back is freaking me out in a weird way. All right, it's so all these NPCs everywhere. It's like we're in a living, breathing city. It's just living with a lot of bunny rabbits. All right, time to take the train. Time to answer a history quiz, potentially. Are we? Oh, I can't really, all right. I'm just gonna go in this door then. Pancake, yay! If you know what that represents, I mean, that means you know what you do. Oh, a little kitty cat there is looking at this space demon very slowly putting change in the soda machine. <laughs> oh, that looks a bit more root beardy. Here we go. Yeah, Tanuki. Pop tart pop. Oh, look at that tiny. It's a Fumo from earlier in the content. All these NPCs, there's so many of them. This is a really packed train. Wow. You sure you want to go in there? I guess you don't have a choice, huh? I just heard like a power up sound effect. Oh, that was in French. They just said next station, and then I kind of didn't really understand the next part. Uh, riding the train, underground train, going somewhere. You sure are going. It's still happening whether you want to or not. Man, that is taking a bit. Oh. 
Like, it sounds like at 12 hours, that was at 3 o'clock. Like, I don't think that's something they would say. I haven't read, I haven't read a lot of, like, trains in my day. I'm sad to say. I just love just how, how very, this is like, welcome to normal world. What if a level was, like, in real world? Yeah, that's what it'd be. I mean, other than the violence from rogue football agents, is everything is very just the time it takes, and I kind of love it. <laughs> Got a lot of change on you, Pilly. That's pretty good. All right, back to ice. Wow, we did not use that Tanuki power up to do anything. Look at that pig, though. He's got an eye patch. All these enemies here, it's very dangerous. Little kitty cat, so you can't get that one. All right, other side of town. Get the mail, whoa, supermarket gym. So I don't need another power up, so maybe I won't get a, I'm fine, I'm full. Destruction, occasionally, it's another soda. Add for sodas, all right, see, make sure you drink those. Otherwise, our bottom line might be- Wait, did we not just do a loop around the universe? I mean, I saw that office building last time. Oh, but this is new. Okay, how- Oh. Mail. Hey. How do you get you up there? Can you go inside this police box? No. Like, you can't climb the- Oh, you can climb these fences though. Alright, cool. I feel like I might have missed one by now. Oh, wait a second. Okay, uh, spot between the fences. Spot between the fences. We did it. We're now in a construction yard. Uh, we can go inside the toilet. Okay. That's canon now. Space demons sometimes have needs that require a toilet. That's... Whoa, what are you throwing? Stop it. All right, please. I am a pilly of peace. Gonna get this money though. Here we go. Alright, it's the construction yard. There's a guy there. Whoa, there's a man dancing. Don't dance in a construction yard. That just seems like a terrible idea. You're gonna get hurt. Uh, okay, epic though, or so that was claimed. If you say so, buddy. Alright, look at that. Frozen shell. I'm gonna do a mighty hop. Like, I'm just keeping all of these alive, I guess. That does seem pretty dangerous, so we're just gonna take the high path. Yeah, music loop. I love those. Loop, nap, music, Johnny. Super! Gonna get right down this ladder. Gonna get down this ladder, so... Oh, there's a family of duck! I'm not gonna harm the family of duck. They're super adorable. Alright, out of the construction yard. Why you go here, Pilly? That's what the level said, okay? Don't think about it. All these opportunities for health. That's right, destroy all of this. What do you want there? Beep beep! Hey, that's all you want. That's what all Beetle wants, and that's adorable. Beautiful. Government boxes, get out of here, and I get the money. That's how it goes. All these fishes! Uh, there's just rows and rows upon rows of fishies. Oh shoot, I got hurt in a dumb way. Very avoidable. But what's this guy gonna have to say? Buzz Buzz, see Buzzy Beetle. We got both versions now at springtime. And that's the only thing that matters occasionally. Alright, I need myself uh, a new sort of drink. Or maybe the same kind. I don't know. I'm missing a health, so I'm just gonna be here. Yeah! A refreshing taste of green! Is that gonna be fireball? Yeah, that's just fireball. Yeah, that's right. That's what they call it. No, that's a uh, single tail. Right, right, right. It's raccoon. Raccoon City. It's a balloon. Oh, there we go. Yay! I got all the dagadons. I did that. I will walk across this lawn. Yeah, just, you know, take your time. Just, it's- Whoa! That face. <laughs> Did you see something that scared you? It's White Castle! Alright, there's none of those in my area, as far as I'm aware. Hey, buddy. I'm not sure. Three veg sliders, honey mustard, and pickles. Small onion ring, medium chop shake, and fudge dip. That seems pretty excessive. All that for ten dollars? Whoa, what? Either the portions are small, the quality's not great, or something. I love how her aura is frozen in space while we are in conversation mode. Have a great day! Yeah! 
That is an intense version of the jingle. <laughs> uh, what? Hi, Tennyson. Well, that's a way for things to go. Well, it's a good thing you're at a fast food chain. Uh, okay. That's just business as usual down here in Nova Scotia, French version. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jeez, you're pretty intense. Alright, I mean... Goal accomplished! Hooray! <laughs> There's a game, which I've seen. I, I thought it was an ambush. I didn't think it was the, like, well, part of the actual festivities. And the letter. Oh, but I need to become Tennyson first. Well, I'll edit that part out, if you don't mind. <laughs> Newt. I know it's not extended, but I'm gonna read that as Newt. Uh, you did it! Now you get to eat. Oh, Pilly's the type to go to the restaurant, order food, but then not eat inside the food zone. Now I get that. Yeah, 23 and 24, 25 are in the building over there. Like, it builds up to being like a weird, like, coherent game scenario, like, progression, which is wild to me. That level was pretty weird. Like, like I just love how just, it's like, yeah, have a, have a platforming level and just a real place like what's that gonna look like even then you could argue the bunny rabbits and the football men were a bit aggressive for that it's pretty funny here we go we quit the game forever far all sell me something so once so i opened that up yeah like when i got the folder and when i saw for cow eyes only i just this Figured since it was for me, I I already read it. So Farrell, thank you very much for just putting you out there, like for my eyes, like 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 for me. Like I don't know, like I feel like it took a lot of courage, and uh, you know, for what you're setting out to do out there, like you have all my encouragement and my well wishes. Just be aware that the path you are choosing is potentially a pretty hard one. But if you can make it work, it's totally gonna be worth it. But we also got public display of affection here. I don't know what is dot .odt. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Why does it do that somehow? All right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey there, guy! I found my way in here at the last second again. That's right, you were in, like, in DLC. Shout out to everyone involved in the project for their patience. Uh, with my eternal inability to meet deadlines, I was hoping to have fan art or a silly gift to you, but as it turns out, I'm reduced to words. Words, those nebulous little apparitions. How could I ever hope to wrestle with their verbal components in a way to construct a thing of worth? Uh, it turns out I just recently had a bit of a crisis that got me thinking about community. What a way to put that. Uh, I had practically moved uh, from the real into the online world to live among web communities about half my lifetime ago to escape the loneliness of my real life. Those communities were always situated within forums. But at some point several years ago, I left my last forum behind and went on to move exclusively uh, on Tumblr and YouTube. It was until just days ago that I realized what a terrible mistake that was. I became almost exclusively a consumer. My interaction with friends got more and more reduced to just sharing content that remind me of them. I rarely gave myself time to actually listen to their thoughts and converse as I was in a near constant state of gotta do thing, but thing is hard so maybe after the next video? Turns out that things are hard to do when your emotions are so dried up that you are reduced to standing open mouth in a rain of parasocial relationships just to keep your blood pumping at all. Wow, this this letter is real. This is a uh, this is something. Uh, I've been getting active in the Patapon server for the last few days. It always seemed too intimidating. That's my Patreon Discord server, by the way. It's not always obvious. Uh, due to the absolute no 
uh, real, you know, announcement I make for it. I don't know what the word I'm looking for here, but you get what I'm saying. It always seemed too intimidating, but then I marked everything as read and soon realized it's not that overwhelming at all. It's still far from feeling at home, but it's good to have this place. It's easy to fall into the trap of avoidance. There's so much to distract yourself with, after all. When you only consume, you never have to worry about what to say, about how you come across, or any of that. But that way also lies the decay of the self. Your self is something that you develop in dialogue with others. If you have a tendency towards social withdrawal, you need situations that push you to react, to make decisions, and position yourself. Else you risk losing your voice and only realizing it when you find yourself needing to scream. So yeah, uh, lots of stuff happening, emotions! <laughs> not easy, not always pleasant, but very welcome. It's great when you can feel bad and think, this emotion is telling me to change something, and I already know what. I don't know what that comma is there for. On a more purely positive note, I'm pretty fascinating by the community you've managed to establish. This is a small community, so full of intelligent, open-minded, strange, and lovely people. It seems hard to believe that they all gathered around a dude who has been mostly playing Mario games until recently, and never makes his LPs about anything more than the games themselves. Hardly ever broadcast... Ah, ever... Train. Hardly ever broadcasting any explicit socio-political views. I genuinely wonder how this happened. My best guess is that the people in the Patapon, Pata people, have just been watching you regularly for many years, and even without the explicit views, when you listen to a dude talk for years, you get a certain sense of what he is about. And you don't listen to a dude talk for years if he doesn't jive with you. Your whole vibe just betrays a certain optimistic nihilism that has no patience for petty squabbles and self-serving pride. Uh, and that's even before any and all art you're involved in clearly screams these things into the world. Uh, and I'm not alone in thinking that's a pretty good foundation for a community. It is always wild when y'all talk about me and just nail these things. <laughs> that feeling of weird never unweirds. Anyway, have a joyous novel, you silly bug! Oh, Farrell, man, your letter. First of all, you are a fantastic writer. Second of all, man, things get real today. We got the level that's in reality and then a letter that is nothing but reality. I got a feeling there might be a person or two that might absolutely need to read these words that appeared on the screen today and I hope it does them good. If anything, I'm perfectly happy serving as just your springboard so letting some uh, some thoughts out, buddy. I know you've been with me for a long while. Uh, let us not remember. Like, let us not forget. You got a whole enemy in the original ASMT named after you and design after you. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I often say that I'm left speechless. Uh, this one is absolute. I feel like everything has been said. Anything I would add at this moment would be absolutely superfluous. So I'm going to keep it simple. Thank you for believing. And thank you for trusting me. And uh, just thank you for being there. <laughs>